Hello everyone, hope you well. This is Coins Kid. Just going on to XRP once again. Thank you, support. Okay, big of the Coins Kid crew. So I remember, I think it was sort of towards the start of March. I was looking at the market being a little bit over -eated. We had this sort of bull trap at play here for XRP. And like I said to you, I think we're in an expanded flat correction. The A, the B, the free wave corrective structure coming down, the free wave corrective structure coming back up. And I said to you, this drawdown here could potentially be the trade of a lifetime. That analysis has not changed, uh, you know, in the price structure. So what I'm looking at over the next few days, leading to the next week, is some kind the bottoming out structure right now i've got my bags filled i know a lot of people have got the bags filled as well against the herd mentality against you know the the sort of sentiment right there the people the naysayers no way no way no way we've been here before you know i was here last year as well on the drawdowns on the buybacks people says no way it won't go there but eventually it did we, we filled the bags and we rode the waves back up basically so there's a couple of scenarios i'm looking at right now that the bottom is in and what we're looking at is just carving out some kind of structural bottom some kind of bump and run pattern i'll go through this with you a very similar structure to what we traded last year i think it was september late september into early october after that final flush down for bitcoin we trade a beautiful bump and run pattern so i'm going to look at this pattern with you in a moment but so far so good you know like i said yesterday i think this is a sweet spot for buying xrp because you know we've got the inverse correlation with the dsy right now which is looking pretty toppy making a lower high and especially on the four hourly time frame right there and the hourly it's creating a, a bearish rising broadening wedge which is a bearish reversal pattern so that in confluence of where we're sitting right now for xrp and where the dxy is sitting on the daily it could be you know the, the fuel the rocket ship like i said to you yesterday i'm a buyer not a crier but right now i've got beautiful bids filled on xrp and i'm actually doing okay on them spot bids right there so i've had a couple of bids i, I did put post this in a discord for the coins key crew uh, right down here zero five three when everyone's super super bullish on xrp trading at 73 cents i said it's going to come back here as well 62 69.244 i was looking at a c wave coming down to some kind of bear trap just here as well we've got this beautiful 1618 abc the a the b the c so then bids on the 1618 at 051644 were met yesterday like an absolute boss so what basically what i'm looking at right now is this situation here and i did post this in the discord as well xrp could be setting up for a bear trap lose a green line one will be sprung so we've had the bull trap uh, sort of early march right there and like i said to you this c wave will get really nasty people get super bearish saying no way no way but if we can find the bottom and pinpoint it boom create a lovely little reversal pattern away we go basically so in confluence of the inverse correlation with the dsy we could be about to turn the ship around here for xrp okay so i'll go through this with you and what we need to see over the next week in the reversal pattern that we traded i think last year september october for bitcoin let's dive in right now and see what we can see okay in the charts so taking a quick look at the dxy for i do dive into the xrp chart but i've shown you this yesterday's confluence of the fact that we are in a sweet spot in the daily rsi for the dxy which is typically where we should be buying xrp and not crying about xrp okay so right now on the hourly time frame i've spotted this beautiful little reversal pattern this is called a rising broadening wedge and we've traded many of these look at this so we've got a first point of resistance second point of resistance third point of resistance with a company bearish divergence right on the trend line of the wedge so if this does start to roll come next week like this starts to come down loses its support the technical target would be where we form the wedge and this is part of the reversal for xrp right now so there's a little bit of confluence in the dsy chart right now that it may have topped and it'd be looking for reversal come next week which is part of the bottoming structure for xrp okay so let's dive into the xrp chart right now to see what we can see equally on the hourly time frame okay so quickly showing you on the daily time frame before i do dive into the hourly right now or something I'm looking at and spotting for the hourly time frame. I've posted this in the Discord this morning and on Twitter. Uh, but what I think we've got here, and I've gone through this with you as part of my analysis just there, that I think that was an A wave down, that was a B wave bull trap iron right now, it's a C wave, is the fact that from this point here in January, we put in a one, two, three, ABC four, and then the final fifth wave. So we've got a little micro five wave move there. Now from that point, I think we've had an A wave down, a B wave high, and this is the C leg, which is retracing to this low. And this is what I said to you. I think this C wave will get really nasty it'll shake a lot of people out but you know i'm putting bids down here and i'll put my stop loss on this pivot low here and it really is really simple technical analysis and this is something i relay to you okay so this is the count at the moment we've got a one we've got a two we've got a three we've got a zigzag four and a final fifth wave and then from that point just there we had a three wave abc structure and then we've had the abc just there the b wave bull trap and right now it's your c wave so clearly you can see right now we've had the big monster flush so this could be a third wave within the last leg here to the downside so i would anticipate 
a little retracement coming back up then another little final flush down to hold this low to shake everybody out but that is where the absolute optimal trade is right now with a very minimal stop loss so i'll just be patient if you're not already involved in xrp most definitely just be patient for some bottoming structure here because obviously my count can be invalidated right now so that's your stop loss an impulsive wave one a corrective zigzag wave two and the next wave after this is a monster vertical wave three in confluence of the drop in the dsy and the continuation of the bull run for bitcoin right there okay so again nothing i say is financial advice but i did say to you at this point this leg down this c wave this opportunity down here could be the absolute trade of a lifetime because if this count is correct then what this has been here and i'll show you this is a one this is a two this is a three this is a flat four that's a five this was an a this was a b this was a C. We've got the five waves of NC, which we traded like a boss. Then from this point here, we've had an impulsive wave one, a flat corrective wave two, and right now it's the third wave. And this is all part of the third wave for XRP. This has been impulsive wave one, a flat wave two, and right now it's the wave three. So the invalidation of that, really, really simple. And I've gone through this so many times with you, is simply losing that low just there. We start to take that out. You can clearly see I'm wrong, and XRP is going to start and come down the stairs. And I think if we lose that low, then boom, you know, I'll be looking to put some bids in roughly this got candle just there around about the 0 038 cent mark and i've gone through this with you many times before okay so i wish everyone most luck but obviously i've not got a crystal ball i can't see into the future it is simple technical analysis so right now we are sitting right in the sweet spot for xrp okay of a potential abc a regular flat correction that's complete let me dive into the hourly time frame and show you something i'm looking at right now okay so taking a look at xrp on the hourly time frame at the moment one thing we've not done and this is really important you see this red line this is your stop loss this is a january low from which the five waves up have come basically and i think what we've got here, if you take a look really simple the one the two the three the zigzag four the five okay then we had the three wave down if you take a look at this abc then another abc which is a b wave and right now we've been in this complex c wave and what we're looking at is possibly some kind of one two three four five like this okay so this is the last leg you know this is the last leg of the correction it's overlapping zigzag waves so i think this is corrective to where we've come from impulsively really really simple okay and obviously the invalidation of that is losing that pivot low the january low from which we've come so again simple technical analysis impulsive corrective hold support higher low up we go it's not bullshit it's not opium it's simple technical analysis i hope you understand that so right now like i've said to you i love to trade the five wave counter okay so i'm looking for five waves in this last leg here and i don't think we see it just yet so possibly some kind of one two big waterfall three have retracement coming back up four a final little flush down this is a sweet spot with bullish divergence on the daily like i've spoken to you about way up here as this correction starts to form we need to find lots of confluence that that is the true bottom with the confluence and the inverse correlation with the dsy obviously and the, you know bullish divergence evidence on the daily create a little, little bottom structure and then boom we start to come back up the stairs here now in the charts just there and i've shown you this before there's a beautiful little you know signal basically a little clue that xrp will come back up regardless of where it goes it's going to come back up to this level here why because of a god candle back test really really simple so if you are looking to just add to your spot bags from this position even if it goes lower you know you're looking at a lovely appreciation of around about 11.74 percent so i keep your data as best i can you know at the minute i'm buying i'm not crying i think xrp is looking pretty okay uh, providing we hold this low here okay it's so all about this low from which we've come oh right, you understand the update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone back to another update on xrp bye bye